Hello and welcome to the Bike Sanctuary. My name's Ben and today I've got the pleasure of showing you around this absolutely gorgeous 2021 Yamaha YZF R1. Now, it's a great time, in my opinion, to be buying these bikes off the back of a British superbike win with Taylor McKenzie. Um, in World Superbikes, it was Toprak Ruschetti Oglu who won on an R1, and Yamaha did the treble and even cleaned up in MotoGP. And I think the Yamaha R1, in its current guise, is the most complete superbike on the market today. Uh, that's just my opinion, but I'll talk to you about the reasons why that is. Uh, as we walk around. This particular bike um, has done 1400 miles from new, one owner, nicely accessorized and it's in very, very clean condition as you'd expect. Now a lot of people call the uh, Yamaha R1 a big bang. It's not actually a big bang, it's a cross plane crank uh, with a different firing order and the advantage that gives you as a rider, particularly on the road, is a much smoother uh, uh, throttle response, a much smoother power delivery to the rear wheel, uh, which gives you better traction, better tire wear, and as you've seen this year, uh, better results on the racetrack as well. So starting at the front end, um, the bike is actually on Bridgestone tyres as standard. Now I'm not normally a fan of Bridgestone tyres, I have to say, but, uh, but the Bridgestone tyres that come on this bike as standard are very, very good and they're in good condition on this bike. Front discs are 320 millimetres, uh, Brembo discs with four pot radially mounted calipers. So loads of stopping power at the front end. It's mated to race ABS, and we'll talk a bit more about electronics in a bit, um, with braided lines and fully adjustable suspension. And I have to say, the front end of this bike is absolutely fantastic. Lots of modern bikes are coming out with these little winglets now. Love them or hate them, they're all about aerodynamics. The old one's quite clever because it incorporates uh, the winglets just into the fairing there, so you can see that the airflow goes over the front fairing and does generate some downforce at high speed. The front end is very Yamaha M1 Moto GP esque uh, with this sort of huge, great big air intake, these lovely little um, LED uh, daytime running lamps, and then obviously the, uh, the main uh, beams are just tucked underneath here. So, very subtle, uh, very racy looking. And as you can see on the mirrors, you've got LED indicators embedded in the mirrors, which is really nice and tidy. Around this side you can see the motor and you can see the body works in fantastic condition. It's a 998cc cross plane crank uh, and these makers nearest makes no difference, 200 horsepower. Um, it's incredibly manageable on this bike by made easier by the electronics. It's still absolutely biblically rapid on the road uh, and just as fast on the track. At the back end, as you can see, we've got an aftermarket Black Widow exhaust. It comes with a baffle. It's, uh, it's completely road legal. You'll have no issues getting on it with a track with the baffle in it. You can see we've got the RNG um, paddock stand lifters, and these are the ones that keep the paddock stand away from the swing arm, which is a good thing because it's painted black. Um, so it keeps that absolutely clear. And as you, look, as you look up, you can see that we've got an RNG towel tidy, and we've also got the, uh, the standard factory fit uh, color-coded seat cowl. Bike does come with the pillion pegs in the original seat and all the original parts as well, uh, if you want them. So as I say, the body works in immaculate condition. It's an absolutely beautiful looking bike, as I said. Um, riding position wise, it's less aggressive, I'd say, than some of the other 1000cc bikes that are out there. Not for everyone, definitely recommend you sit on one, um, but I think it's a very comfortable machine. Fly-by-wire throttle, um, lots and lots of electronics on it. Uh, including a quick shifter. So this is an up and down auto blipping quick shifter, which can be adjusted to suit your riding style, um, or you can just use the uh, predetermined engine maps, which change the severity of the gear changes. Um, so you don't have to go into the, uh, the ECU and mess around. Immaculate chain and sprocket, swing arm on this side is unmarked and the rear tire is good as well. The bike comes with a full service history comes with all three keys, including the important red key and the owner's manual. Up the top here, you can see that we've got the fully adjustable suspension. Um, no hydraulic clutch, it's actually a cable operated clutch on these bikes. You can see the mode selectors um, and the dash controls here, and also the menu controls just here on the left. Full color TFT dash on this, which is light sensitive. So um, if we were to go outside, uh, into broad day daylight, this would probably switch over into its day mode, which is a white background. But as it is, it looks quite nice. You've got all the basic functions. So your rev counter and your speed, your gear indicator just here. Um, above, you've got your quick shifter settings, uh, your anti-wheelie settings, and your race ABS settings. Obviously, we've got a clock. Uh, your current mode selection, so depending on uh, how you set the bike up, there's some predetermined uh, modes that you can select or you can program your own. 
your current power setting, traction control, uh, anti-wheelie, uh, engine braking and all of that stuff as well can all be controlled and set up individually or using the, uh, the predetermined maps. Everything else is as you'd expect. There's a couple of quirky little bits that you get like brake pressure. So you can see there how much brake pressure you're using and you can see the suspension reactants as well. It's really, really cool. I mean, the reality is, is once you've got the bike set up how you like it, you'll probably just leave it as it is and ride it. Um, as I say, it's a really user-friendly engine on the road. Uh, makes loads of torque. It's nice and smooth. It's got a fly-by-wire throttle, which takes a bit of getting used to, but once you're used to it, you'll never want to go back to an older bike. Right, let's give her a start up so you can have a listen. <laughs> Unfortunately, you can't really get an impression for what this sounds like until you hear one go flying past you at 100 miles an hour, but you take my word from it. It sounds just like Valentino Rossi's uh, Yamaha M1 did. Uh, it sounds absolutely amazing. It's still under Yamaha's warranty. Still got about another year on the, uh, the Yamaha warranty. Um, it comes with free delivery and we can offer pretty lucrative finance deals on this as well on PCP and HP if that's something you're interested in. As I say, free UK delivery. Um, and with all of the extra parts on this, there's a good saving from new as well. That's it from me. Thank you very much for watching and I look forward to speaking to you soon. Take care.